Hello everybody, this is Zaxter99. Another brand new game out on Steam, and I'm the first one, it looks like, to put up a review for this game on Steam. Probably the first one to purchase it. This is Dark Knight, another Five Nights at Freddy's type uh, survival game where you got to try to survive the night from the looking at the video and looking at the description. This one, you actually get to walk around the house, though, and you get a key or something like that, and you can open every door in the uh, every room in the house. But you pretty much got to stay alive, and it's something about you can light a match for uh, light, but I'm sure you only have so many matches or something. So we're going to go ahead and try this game out, see if it scares me, and see if I think it's worth your $4.99 in American currency, or $4.24 this first week. Uh, you know, 15% discount, I think it is. So we'll be back right after this to go ahead and give Dark Knight my first try. All right, welcome back, everybody. Man, I don't know why I continue to buy these games. They creep the hell out of me out. I'm a wimp when it comes to these games. But, you know, uh, I got a few friends that watch them and say they crack them up. So they, they love watching me play this kind of crap. So here we go. Let's go ahead and start. Press space to skip. Hmm. Fifteen years old and she has a life and friends, she said. <laughs> Alright, I just put my headset on so you guys won't hear a background echo. I don't know if I missed anything. But... What was that? Amelia Ash does not deserve a birthday. Oh man, that's me. Amelia doesn't deserve to live and enjoy life? Wow. Alright, let's go ahead and go. I assume the dark night there means it's ready to go. Space. First encounter. The first encounter comes at 1.30 and you need to avoid the enemy by moving around and hiding behind objects. Okay, mouse is look, walk is uh, WSD, sprint, left shift, interact with doors, left mouse button, press space to listen better. Okay. Man, I can't see nothing. Crap, I hear something. This is already creepy. I mean, the walls and the graphics aren't that great, but it already gives you, what was that? The hell was that? I don't even catch what that said. I got a flashlight on and I can't even see still. How dark is that? Man, what? It's flashing like words and I don't have time to read them. Whoa. What was that? This game is just too dark. Jesus. 1.20 a.m. Uh, it said something's going to be after me at 1.30. I don't know. You need a key. Okay, that's what that said. Okay. You need to find a key. Is my flashlight even on? No, it's, my flashlight wasn't even on. So I need to find a key. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, the thing's warning me that something's going to be coming soon. I'm probably going to get spooked out here in a second. I know it's coming and it's still going to scare me. I know it will. 1.30. Ah, come on! Damn it! See, I knew it was going to happen. Game over. Return to main menu. Come on. Man, why do I play these games? We're going to try this again. Now that the hairs on my arms are raised up. Alright. 
Let's go. I need a key. Now I got more light. Okay, I think I had this light before, but then it got all got really dark. All right, so where's this key at? I can't jump. Hey, dude. Well, now I can actually see better. There's the key. Okay, now I got the key. For some reason, I can see a hell of a lot better this time than I could last time. Hmm. Okay. What? No, what? Hello? Oh, space was to listen better. But you can't see. Okay, I can't tell. Alright. It's kind of what it looked like my first game. Like that. I was sitting there going around and I couldn't see nothing. Okay. I like this better now that I can actually see something. Why can I not go through the door? I got the key. Do I not have the key? I thought I got the freaking key. It was right here on the table. What happened to it? I was in here before. Yeah, I can see a lot better this game. I mean, it's dark, but I still can see a hell of a lot more. I need to go in that room and hide, I think. I wonder if I can hide behind here. He's fixing to come. That's creepy. Okay, I'm hiding back here. Flashlight's not on, right? No. He's probably going to come get me again. I'm going to stay here, tucked in the corner, and see if I can live past this encounter. Let's uh, close my uh, eyes and listen. Uh oh. 140, did I make it? Did I make it? Maybe I made it. Ew, blood on the wall. Ah, come on! I thought I made it! So the encounters came at 130. Damn game. It's pretty good. It's, this is actually better than I thought I'd be. I figured I'd be uh, buying this planet for five minutes and refunding it. You know, giving you guys a video review of, you know, exactly what this game is. People let people know what it is, but there's the key again. Uh, interact with doors, left mouse button. Okay, it looks like I automatically picked it up. Now, why can I not go through these doors. There I can. Okay. Can I close it? I want to close the door. Let me close the door. Come on. Why can I not close the damn door? Whoa. That guy hung himself. I, I can't read that red word. I have no idea what that said. Okay. Can I unlock this? Nope. This is a door I couldn't get in before. I guess you can't go through this door. Okay. It's only 110. Kind of weird how that door opens up. The controls are kind of janky. Yeah, hop down here. Ah, come on! Damn game! Ah! Creepy as hell! How the hell am I going to survive till 8 a.m. or whatever the hell time? Uh, if I can't even make it till 2? Delete progress? I have no progress. Good grief. For whatever reason, this game is effective as well. Maybe I'm just a wimp at these games, but... These freaking... Uh, jump scares get me almost every time in these games until I get used to them. Alright. Try this one more time, guys, but I just want to give you guys a, an idea of kind of how this game works. So, And I'm going to leave in the first game where, you know, where it was so damn dark, just so you guys, if that happens to you, you'll know to play again and maybe it'll be a little bit better. 
There's that guy again. He looks creepy as hell. Hang in there. I have no idea what the hell that says. I'm going to have to pause that during my video editing, I think. I'm going to do the same thing that happened last time. I'm going to... I wish you could close the door. I wish you could go through that door. But you can't. Where's that other door at? Right here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Is there another door over here? Oh, I've been in here before. Okay. So there's only this room. And... you got to keep moving, it said. I know he's going to be down here. I don't know that I want to go down there. Can I shut the door? No. Sucks. I'm gonna hide here again. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, I just saw him. I just saw a flash of him right behind the uh, shelf there. I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> now, see, it's a jump scare and it works, but. Again, just like all these dumb games, it's totally cheesy. I'm sitting there looking at the bed, and the guy, pa I mean, you can, I, there's light, I can see. And it just puts the guy right there. <laughs> it's not like the guy walks up to me and finds me, no. He just pops up right in front of me. <laughs> that is cheesy. Uh, be, even though the game works and it's effective at jump scaring you, which a lot of people I know probably these jump scares don't work at all. Uh, it seems like every jump scare in all these games works on me. But I don't like that. I don't like how there's no way to get away from it and it just pops up right in front of you. That's stupid. At least Five Nights at Freddy's, you can see the cameras and the guys actually come to you and they actually walk around. This game... It is like it doesn't have any kind of AI where the enemy just walks around the house trying to find you. No, they just pop the guy right in front of you. For that, this game gets an epic fail, even though it, you know, the jump scares get me. Any jump scares in any game is going to get me. So this game is a fail because, not because it jumps, because it scared me with the jump scares. No, because the jump scares are completely cheesy. You know, I play the, uh, the game I played recently where I was in the graveyard uh, and, uh, you know, at least the monsters follow you around and chase you and stuff like that. That's fine. You know, Boogeyman was fine. The guy actually has to crawl out and he actually moves. This is a rip. This is BS. This is a rip off of all the successful games like Five Nights at Freddy's. The programmer didn't even make it so the, so the enemy actually moves through the house to try to find you. No, he just they just have him pop up and they spawn it right in front of you. That is a total fail, developer fail. This game gets an F. Not worth your money in my opinion, even though it might have jump scares scare you, there's a lot better ways to go in a game that's not so cheesy and cheap. Cheap is the perfect word for this game, and this is a not recommend from Zaxter99 because this game is cheap. That's my opinion anyway. Thanks so much for watching everybody. This is Zaxter99. See you in the next video. Take care.